Hello everyone, thanks for joining me again. Today, we're going to explore a brand new indicator that utilizes artificial intelligence for highly accurate trend detection. What sets this indicator apart is that it also provides a confidence value alongside each detection, giving us insight into the likelihood of a prediction being correct. This is a feature that's quite rare to come across. In fact, I can't recall ever encountering a system that offers this level of predictive probability. So with that said, let's dive in. If you go to the Indicators tab and click on Community, then head over to the Trending page, you'll find an indicator named Supertrend AI Clustering by Luxalgo. As you can see, it holds a high rank on the Trending page and has also received an Editor's Pick Award indicating that many users are finding it incredibly useful. So let's go ahead and save it by clicking the star icon and then add it to our chart. Now you might notice that the appearance of this indicator bears a striking resemblance to the Supertrend indicator. As the name suggests, while this indicator utilizes artificial intelligence for trend analysis, its foundation is still rooted in the Supertrend indicator. Specifically, it employs a machine learning technique known as k-means clustering. The buy and sell labels come with numbers above and below to indicate the likelihood of a trade being correct. The higher the value, the more likely. Additionally, the candles exhibit a color gradient, where brighter colors indicate a stronger trend. The lines serve as trailing stops and can be employed to manage your trades after entering. The table in the top right corner provides information on the processed data. To comprehend how the indicator gauges the likelihood of a trade, consider that it's seeking patterns in price and assessing how price behaved in the past whenever that particular pattern emerged. When the pattern reoccurs, it makes a prediction based on its historical behavior. It's important to note that if a signal is generated and the value is low, it might imply a minor retracement rather than a complete trend reversal. Therefore, it's advisable not to dismiss signals solely based on a low value. They still hold value for understanding market sentiment. If you go into the settings of the indicator, you'll find a set of options directly tied to how the data used in the calculation is gathered. If I quickly close the settings panel, and head over to the documentation, you'll see there's a comprehensive write-up on how these settings function and influence the indicator. Okay, let's return to the settings panel. Moving below that, we encounter settings related to the optimization of the indicator. These options impact the runtime performance of the script. Maximum iteration steps governs the highest number of iterations the indicator undergoes in search of the best signals. Using excessively low values may yield quicker loading times, but lead to subpar signals. Historical bars refers to the amount of data on TradingView used in calculations. A higher value is generally favorable, but be aware that a higher value can result in slower loading times. For these two options, I'd recommend finding a balance between the number of times the indicator loops to find the best signals and the amount of data being utilized. Hence, I would suggest reducing the amount of data to 3,000 and increasing the iteration to 2,000. This way, the indicator experiences less load, but has more time to process and fine-tune the available data. Below that, there are some styling options to control whether the signal labels are displayed and to manage candle coloring. Additionally, you can enable or disable the dashboard. So this indicator is great for providing information about the current market trend and knowing when to enter or exit the market. This indicator should be used alongside your analysis in order to make better, more informed decisions. As you can see in this analysis, the market was in an uptrend, but we can observe that the market has been reacting off these highs and has started to make lower lows. We can take an entry here and target a reasonable zone for take profit where there are a lot of rejections. As you can see, once this trade was taken, there were several signals that were ignored until the trade reached its take profit. This is how the indicator is supposed to be used. 
Use it alongside your analysis to find entry points, but do not rely on it as an all-in-one solution and follow all signals blindly. And there you have it. This indicator is a great signal processing tool that can be used alongside your analysis to provide clear information on when you should be clicking buy or sell. Always remember that no indicator is perfect and should always be used alongside fundamental and technical analysis to find the perfect synergy for trading. For those interested, don't forget you can use the link in the video description to try Luxalgo Premium for 30 days, where you will get access to the signals and overlays indicator, oscillator matrix, and price action concepts. Several tools to help you maximize your efficiency in the markets. Thank you for joining me today. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button for me. Enjoy the rest of your day, and we will see you again very, very soon.